Hi, my name is Michael Joe Santos, and I'm a city council for at-large candidate here in New Bedford, Massachusetts. One of the things that I'd like to talk about uh, today is addiction. Seeing that addiction is tied to um, more than one issue, such as crime, homelessness, panhandling, and so many other things, I feel that it's, a, it's an important issue because it knocks out about five birds with one stone. Addiction is a huge problem that we have here in New Bedford. And um, as you know, we've been targeting things like prostitution, car breaks, house breaks, and such. But I feel that we cannot uh, talk about these issues without talking about addiction, since most of these issues are tied to it. When you look at, for instance, the five women that were, um, that were arrested for prostitution not that long ago after the motion filed in city council, I am willing to bet that every single one of these women had a traumatizing experience when they were younger. Some, um, actually I, I know one of the women and she was, uh, she is, I'm sorry, the sister of one of the victims that were killed on, um, known, as, uh, known as the highway murders back in the 80s. She went through a traumatizing experience. And um, I feel that instead of, instead of the police targeting them, I feel that they should have been targeted by some outreach workers. Outreach workers could have came out and asked them um, what they can do for them if they need help and target them with actual resources because a lot of these uh, women want help, but they just don't know where to turn or, there's, or they don't know uh, where the resources are. Some of the addicted became addicted because of pain medication when they were hurt in an accident or something else when their doctor prescribed them opiates. Some people may have experienced a homicide to a loved one or maybe a close family member or even a friend. So I feel it's important that we reach people when they experience these traumatizing experiences, either, while, either during or, or, or right after. Very important because it decreases the chances of them actually becoming addicted when they get older. I also want to, uh, as, as a city council, I would like to advocate for more resources to get our youth summer jobs and other programs during the summertime when they are most likely to spend their energies in, in negative ways. When I was younger, we had this thing, uh, this uh, program called the CEDAR program where we got paid about $90 a week, would probably be a little more now, but back then it was $90 a week. And we, we were in charge of cleaning the streets, the sidewalks, and some of the local um, vacant lots that are really, and I could be an eyesore to some of the uh, tourists and even residents of our city. Also, I would like to put our youth and senior back on top of the priority list. I feel that in the, in the last few years that, that they haven't been on the top of the priority list and I really feel they belong there. Um, recently, a senior center was closed down in the New Bedford Hotel and the senior center cost $10,000 a year to run. I know we could have found money in other places to facilitate this senior center. It's, it, senior centers are important to have. Um, some seniors depend on them, on them for, for, for their social lives and social activity. So uh, again, my name is Michael Joe Santos. I have a website, michaeljoesantos.com. The Joe is spelled J-O without the E. And um, I really hope that you would consider me on October 6th for, in the primary election for your city council at large.